Hi, I'm Joe Ferrace. Welcome to Joe's Movie Club. And the topic for today is bargain 4K discs. When 4K TV first came out, I was impressed with the quality of the images I was seeing on the TVs at uh, Best Buy. But at the same time, I was not impressed with the prices on the 4K disc. They just seemed way overpriced compared to an equivalent Blu-ray. I was kind of off on them until my beautiful Samsung Plasma TV that I was deliriously happy with died. And I had to suck it up and buy a 4K TV. And while 4K disc price had come down in the interim, they weren't as outrageous as they were, they still weren't cheap. So that's the subject of today's video, cheap 4K discs. And I was able to get this 4K disc, and it has more to it than just that, from Amazon for a little over eight bucks. So come with me now, we're gonna talk a little bit about Alita Battle Angel. Somebody, I don't know if it was Roger Ebert or maybe it was some great philosopher who said that all stories are either Pinocchio or Jack and the Beanstalk. So what we have with Alita is obviously Pinocchio with Pinocchio being played by Rosa Salazar and Geppetto by Christoph Waltz in an actually amazing performance. I guess he doesn't know how to do anything but that. But the story is pretty much Pinocchio if you take a look at the bare bones of it. Now, Alita Battle Angel is based on a, a manga, which is a, for those of you who are not familiar with the comic book world, is a Japanese comic book that sometimes can be quite violent, but are always extremely creative. And like a lot of Japanese literature, is read from back to front. So you don't start on page 100 and go forward. The story is much like Pinocchio. The Geppetto character finds in a junkyard pieces of an android that becomes Alita, named after his dead daughter, interestingly enough. And, and so there's some red herrings and stuff that goes on. And much like uh, Pinocchio, who wants to go out and be a real boy, she goes out and gets involved with stuff. And the, there's a kind of a, uh, a crazed uh, combination of roller derby and death race 2000, in which uh, people race around on rollerblades and you know, kill each other and stuff like that. You know, that kind of stuff. And then there's a villain and he's two people and there's people in the sky, kind of like uh, that um, other movie, which I can't remember, uh, but I'll stick it down here when I remember it. But anyway, so uh, of course she gets into the big roller derby at the end, kills everybody, whatever she does. I don't think she deliberately kills everybody. And um, maybe it lives happily ever after, maybe not, because I think there were like 19 volumes in the Alita story. And I think uh, the filmmakers were hoping for a sequel, but that didn't happen because nobody, it seemed, liked the movie. Uh, I'll throw up the, uh, the tomato scores here for you to look at because I think two reasons. Number one, the, the star was uh, Rosa Salazar. But it's not Rosa Salazar that you see in the film. It's a digital creation of Alita. It looks like Rosa Salazar. And in different parts of the movie, it looks terrifically like Rosa Salazar. Sometimes the CG is not as perfect as it might otherwise be. One of the big things that kind of killed the movies when the first trailer came out there were a lot of people manga fans who were all excited about the uh, having a film of based on Alita and uh, she has big eyes and uh, when they made the trailers her eyes were really big and everybody complained about them but my guess is no matter how big they made her eyes even if they made her eyes the same as uh, as her, her real eyes it, it, people would have complained because, you know, the internet, people like to com complain and bitch about 
anything they think isn't as perfect as they wish it would be. The CGI version of, of Alita, you never actually see the real Rose Salazar, though this, it really varies, and we'll talk about the quality of the imaging in a little bit, but it's okay, you know? It's better than Jar Jar Binks, but maybe that's a low bar. So the film is actually a lot of fun. There's a lot of action. The acting is really great. Jennifer Connelly is in it. Uh, the guy from Green Book, whose name I could never pronounce in a hundred million years. Terrific actor who's going to be uh, Blade in the forthcoming uh, film. I'm really looking forward to that. And he's in it. And there is a young guy who falls in love with uh, Alita because I'm not sure Pinocchio had a girlfriend, but uh, Alita does have a boyfriend. And he looks a heck of a lot like a younger, cuter Robert Rodriguez who directed this film. And to tell you the truth, I've always been a fan of Rodriguez. Way back to the mariachi and other films like uh, Desperado, which I really, really love, or Dust to Dawn. Dust to Dawn is important because there are scenes later in the movie where uh, they go to a bounty hunter's bar that looks a whole lot like the bar, at least the vibe is very similar to that in Dust to Dawn, except it's missing a few key ingredients. Number one, Cheech Marin behind the bar, that would be awesome, but he didn't do that. Or Selma Hayek making her debut in a bikini with a boa constrictor crawling all over. Wow, no, that doesn't happen in this. Instead, what we have is more like a John Wayne movie brawl where uh, Alita fights with all the bounty hunters and kicks her butts and, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's an action movie with a little heart. It's a little fun. It's like Pinocchio. It's a pretty darn good movie. Now, what about the disc? Well, it's not just a disc. For eight bucks and 48 cents, I think they just raised the price. I mean, I think they raised it 20 cents, but it's still a good deal if you want to get it. I'll put a link down below if, if you want to pick it up for, for the price. So it's actually three discs. Well, first you get this stupid, uh, di well, actually I got two of these. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I got the did two digital codes. They're probably all expired because it's not a new movie by any chance. So we have three discs. Oh, you only see two of them? Well, that's because stupid is as stupid does. Uh, on behind behind the um, the Ultra HD Blu-ray 4K disc, there is a Blu-ray, which some people uh, that are very picky about the how discs is handled don't like. I'm not a big fan of them myself. So you're thinking, what is this? The extra disc? No. This is a 3D version of the movie. Rodriguez was always very forward-thinking. I mean, he was doing 3D movies before James Cameron, who produced this film, uh, made Avatar. Uh, he made Spy Kids 3D, which uh, I never actually saw. I like the first two Spy Kids. I've always liked Rodriguez movies. They always had heart, and, and so does Alita. I really think that this is the best film Robert Rodriguez ever made. But anyway, back to the disc. So you have three discs. You have Blu-ray of the movie with some extras. The extras are really quite good. The um, the 4K, and we'll talk about that in a few seconds, and a 3D that I would desperately love to be able to watch. My old TV that I rhapsodize about all the time had for a 3D capability. I have a whole library of 3D movies that I would love to be able to watch again. There are many parts of this film that really scream 3D in the way they're shot. And I, I would love to see that movie, and I'm very sorry that I never got to see it in the theater in 3D. So you get three discs. You get these dopey codes that are probably worthless. For $8, I think 84 cents now. So it's a good deal. Now what about the disc? the 4K disc. Well, it's pretty good. It's better than the Blu-ray, but it's not leaps and bounds. My reference video for 4K is, uh, of all films, Godzilla and King Kong. This doesn't come close to it. It's better 
than the Blu-ray, but only a little bit. And when I was watching the extras on the Blu-ray disc, I kept seeing this absolutely beautiful panoramic and the imagination that just leaps off of the screen. I said, I kept telling myself, I can't wait to see the 4K. This is going to be fabulous. Well, it's not fabulous. It's okay, but it's not fabulous. But it's also only eight bucks and 84 cents under the current price. Maybe it's cheaper because if you know anything about Amazon, they vary their prices all the time. You know, I have uh, several books of mine that are for sale on Amazon, and I'll do links to them on my photography blog from time to time. And every time I look at it, I've seen fluctuations as high as 10 and $20 on the same book. And, and one day it'll be $29.95, the next day it'll be $39.95, the next day it'll be $23. I think they play games with uh, the pricing, and they may be doing that, this, but still, it's less than 9 bucks. If you're a Prime member, you're going to get uh, the free shipping. So what can you can't really beat it. It's, it's a really good movie. I think you'll really enjoy it. You don't have to be a fan of the manga. I never read Alita. Ba I've never read any manga. I think I flew, when I was in Japan, on one trip to Japan years ago, one of the guys I was with, he was a big manga fan. We want some story. He bought some mangas. I flipped through it. I thought, wow, it's a great artwork. And that's one thing. If you look at the, the artwork that they show you in some of the extras for, uh, for Alita, the guy who did this, this is beautiful artwork. It's really great. And I think they've managed to capture that with this film. And I really think if you like science fiction, if you like to have a good time at the movies, and you don't mind spending nine bucks for a, a, a pretty good 4K disc, Elite of Battle Angel. You can't beat it for the price. So what's coming up? One thing I would like to do is, if you have any experiences buying some really inexpensive 4K discs, no matter what source you get it from, it doesn't have to be Amazon, it could be any, any site or maybe a physical store. Let me know in the comments below, because I would really like to feature more of these bargain 4K discs in future episodes. As far as what's coming up in the near future, well, the big news is I should be getting the 4K version of the Maltese Falcon any day now and as soon as I get it I'll get it programmed I'll get a chance to watch it and we'll shoot a video about it so that's what's coming up next the Maltese Falcon in 4k in the meantime I would really appreciate it if you could find it in your hearts to give this a like and make a comment maybe and tell me what you think about the video even if you don't like it and uh, if you can subscribe that will really help the algorithm pay attention to this little silly blog of mine down here in YouTube land. So thanks again for coming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon.